we have just explored some additional options for find command and uh, you know how to, for example, find files depending on their sizes. Or you could uh, find files that have specific permission. Now let me explain you how to combine find command and other command. In other words, it is possible to send result of the find command to another shell command. Let me show you an example. Let's search for files with txt extension and let's search for them in current directory. If there are no txt files, please create a couple of them. Alright, I have some such files and I'll search for files with name that has somewhere txt, like so. And next I'll enter one more option, dash exec. And here will be cut, for example. Next comes pair of curly braces, like so. Next comes backslash and semicolon. In a moment I'll explain you what this command actually does. But for now let's simply press enter. And I see following text in this terminal. And actually I see here contents of all txt files that were found in current directory. In my case there are several such kind of files. Let me actually remove this option for a moment. And here are those txt files. And if I read, for example, this file 1.txt, it seems it is empty. Let me read this file, file 3.txt. I'll see this text in output. But before, as a result of this command, I have seen text from all files. Alright, now let me explain the structure of this command. Let me actually clear terminal and go back to this command. Here is argument it is path to specific directory. Next, we are looking for files with extension txt. Next comes exec option. And here is argument for this exec option. It contains actually several arguments. Here is first argument, second and third. Here is name of the command that will be executed after find command. And actually, in this case, cut command will be executed multiple times. One time per result of the find operation. Recap that in my case I have several txt files. Actually I have 5 txt files. And that's why this cut command will be executed 5 times. And those curly braces will be automatically replaced by paths to corresponding files. It means that first command that will be executed will be cut plus this path. Next command will be cut plus this path, and so on. Cut will be executed 5 times in my case. And next you need to use additional last argument for exec option. Please again recap that here are 3 different arguments. Cut, pair of curly braces and semicolon. But semicolon is system character. That's why you must use backslash in order to escape it. The structure of arguments for exec option. And again, you are able to use any other process you want. We have simply launched here cut process, per every result of the find operation. For example, you could use ls command. Let's do that. Here will be ls, and now I see actually same result as before, but if I'll add here options, for example dash la, I'll see actually result of the ls command. And it starts with permissions, uh, next uh, user, group and so on. Also I am able to add some colors using here additional option dash dash color. And this option is option for ls command, not for exec, not for find. Those two options and this option are options for ls command. Actually here is entire command that is executed for every result that is produced by find command. Let's press enter. And actually I don't see any colors here because files are not colored. Let's search actually for all files and folders. Let's remove this name option and execute command like so. And now I see different colors for different folders and so on. Alright, that's how you could execute additional command after find command. And again, Structure of command is following. It has exec option. Next comes additional command you want to run, for example ls. Next if you want to iterate over all results of the find command, you add here pair of curly braces. 
And finally, you add last argument for this exact option. Here are three arguments. And this last argument is semicolon. And it must be escaped using backslash. Sometimes, if you'll get an error, you should add double quotes here around curly braces. And the result will be actually the same. All right, let me now show you one more command and uh, let me get back to this command that we have used in order to print uh, all txt files using additional ls command with color option and press enter here. And actually, if you want to see only, let's say, sizes of the files in this column and don't want to see all those permissions, you could use such option as, uh, let me show you, print f. It is one of the options for find command. I don't use here exact option. And here type following expression in double quotes. Percentage sign P, percentage sign K, next space kilobytes, backslash N. Press enter. And now I see only files with corresponding sizes. That's how you are able to use own capabilities of find command in order to format results of this command. All right, next let me explain you what is xargs command because we will use it in the example when you want to pipe result of the find command to another command. Let's discuss it next. Bye.